Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So I have brought some art supplies and I'd like to share it with you all. I have grouped most of these art supplies into categories. So let's get started. Let's start with something sparkly, something shiny. And here they are. Let's look at them one by one. These are all crafting rhinestones and these three colors I was able to get in this bigger size. And I got many of these in this smaller size. I got many shades of blue in these smaller rhinestones because I have an idea on where to use it. So stay tuned for that painting. And I got yellow and purple in the same size. And lastly of these white and blue stones, these packets have multiple sizes of the same color. So I thought that will be useful. These are all the rhinestones I got. I hope I'll use them soon because I've got a lot, right? Okay, let's move on to brushes. I've got this round brushes from Camel. And if you see any art materials looking dusty and dirty in this video, it's because I bought some wooden things to paint on and that has left dust on all of the art materials. And it also made my fingers so dusty. I feel so dusty. I just want to keep saying dusty. Okay, I'll move on. And I also got this 4 brushes set. It has a good selection of flat brushes I felt. And I got this one single specialty brush. And when I looked at this in the packaging, I felt shocked because it says deer foot. And I got scared because I thought it was made out of deer foot and I didn't want to buy it at first. But then when I looked at the back, I realized these are all the shapes of the brushes. And it's just a different angled brush and I thought it's a nice tool to have. And next I got these three sets of thick brushes. It's called a stencil brush. Honestly, I don't know what's the intended use of it. But I bought it thinking it can be used for blending backgrounds. Next I got this water brush. It's also called as brush pen. If you have never used this, I can show you how it works. So as you can see, it's a normal brush from the front. What makes it unique is you can open this and fill in with water. So when you're mixing the paint, you can just press this middle part and few drops of water will flow out. It's really useful for watercolors. Okay, let's move on to the next group. Next, we have some pencils. And I got this very interesting charcoal pencil set. I have never seen this before. As you can see, there are four different colors of charcoal pencil here. White charcoal is pretty common, but the rest three colors are very interesting to me. If you look at the packaging here, these are the three colors of pencils we have. I'm very excited to try this. And next we have good old trusty Faber-Castell 9000 pencils. These are graphite pencils. But this is a box full of 4B pencils and they were under discount so I thought I'll get some. And that's it for the pencils, let's go to paint. I got this watercolor travel set, let's unbox this. So we have this very cute looking round box. Doesn't it look like a cute makeup palette? When you open the first section there are more set of colors and when you open that there is another set. So we have three sets of colors here and you can possibly use the cap as a palette. I really hope the colors are vibrant in this paint because the watercolor cakes that I had previously used was not as vibrant as the ones that come in tubes. Either way, this is very compact and cute looking. I'm very excited to try this. Next, I got this Fevicryl 3D outliners in the color gold. I have a project in mind where I could use this. So please subscribe so you don't miss more art projects. Next, I got this masking fluid. I have been meaning to buy this since a long time. Masking fluid is used to preserve the whites of the paper in watercolors and probably gouache. So this can be very useful. And the next one is very random. I got some stencils. This is more for longer designs and the other two are for rounder and more like background designs. And next one has to be the most exciting of them all. I got gold gilding leaf. It has a set of 25 sheets but the glue that is used to stick these gold leaves was out of stock so I just have these gold leaves. I got these two identical looking sketchbooks of different sizes and I have even started using this A6 one. I have uploaded this artwork on my YouTube shorts as well. I drew this while traveling on a bus and it's a very rough sketch but I am very happy I did that. 
And next I got this watercolor pad from the brand Faber Castell so I thought it's a good tool to have. And next I got this grey sketchbook. I have been meaning to buy this from such a long time so I was very excited to see this. If I can achieve something like this in the sketchbook I'll be very happy. And next I got this regular stretched canvas. It's always good to have one of these when the inspiration strikes. Okay these are not new art supplies but I'm very excited to share this. My friend had this from a long time and they gave it to me. This is clearly a very old book but I'm really happy that I have this. Okay now is finally time to share the art materials that made my hand so dusty. So dusty. I bought these two wooden art panels. I thought it will be more nice to paint on wood and in the back they have all these holes to hang on the wall. Next I have this long wooden rectangle. I think it's supposed to be hung on your doorknob. I'm not really sure how to use this. Next I have this set of wooden coasters. I'll probably just stack all these little paintings that I've done on these coasters and not use them as coasters, you know. Next I bought this wooden Ganesha to paint on. I already have a similar one of these but I wanted one more. Okay, I like this. This is something you hang on your wall and all these hooks you can use to hang key branches or some other things. I love that stores are making things like this. It's very fun to paint and DIY it yourself. I had completely forgotten that I bought this. Um, there is nothing really special about it either. It's just a plain pouch. I thought either I can use this or I can paint this. This is the most unique thing I have ever bought. I got these two craft kits. As you can see, one is to make a dream catcher like this. And this one is to make a macrame wall hanging. I actually want to make this and share it with you all in a video. I think it will be very interesting. Okay, that's all the things I got. It's a lot. I definitely think it's a lot and this is in no way a show off or a bragging that I bought all these things. Until very recently I was just doing art with regular pencils and printer paper and now that I'm able to afford all this I thought I'll get some and share it with you all. I'll eventually try all this art supplies in my coming projects. So don't forget to subscribe and come back for more art content. Okay see you in the next one. Bye.